Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I've got a really great versatile card layout to show you today. I think it's something you're going to use over and over because just by changing out the colors of the papers that you use, you're going to get hundreds of combinations of cards and it's so simple. One reason why this card is so quick and easy is because I'm using Stampin' Up's designer series paper. That's their patterned paper and it coordinates with the colored cardstock and the inks. This is one of the reasons why I love Stampin' Up products. If you purchase products that are all within one suite, then they will all coordinate. That includes the embellishments, the inks, the patterned paper, the regular paper. You're just going to get a card or any project that you make with those just look fantastic. Let me show you. For our project today, I've chosen the hand pen designer series paper. And here is the back side. And you can see how these coordinate with all of these colored cardstock. Now this is just a sample of what they coordinate with. Sometimes it's hard to know where to get started when you're making a card, but in this card, it's really easy. You want to start with your designer series paper because it's really easy to just pick a color out of your card and find the coordinating cardstock that goes with it. So our first cut is going to be, we're going to line this up at the five and a half and slice this off. Now we're going to rotate our card our piece of paper, I'm sorry, and we're going to cut two quarter inch pieces. Now this paper trimmer does an amazing job. It can cut those tiny little slices like no problem and they are super straight. I just love it. Now we need one more piece at two inches. There we go. All right, we're all done cutting. These two are excess pieces. Don't throw them away. We will use them for something else. One of them we'll use on this project. These are going to go on our card. Now, for all the directions on how to cut that out, I've made a diagram. It's over on my blog, all the measurements for everything to make it really easy for you to reproduce this card. Just head over to my blog and find this blog post. So we're gonna put some glue on the back of our two inch piece. And you know what? I changed my mind. This one, I am going to glue it right here. We're going to have our card open this way. <laughs> now, you're going to take these little strips. I'm rotating that just because it's going to be easier to assemble it. Now, you're going to take this underside of the designer series paper, put glue on it, and then push it into place. Now you're going to take your other strip, put a little less glue this time. I kind of overdid it last time. I want to make sure those ends get glued. So you're going to put it a little, little bit above that two inch piece and drag it into place so that it just forms a nice straight line. No gaps. All right, now let's do some stamping. I just want one, one little message on here and I think I'm going to do thanks so much. You really should stamp before you punch out or before you use your die, your uh, circle layering dies to cut these out, just in case you don't get it right in the center. But I got lucky, got it right in the center. <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this on. I forgot to tell you a really fun tip. On the interior of our card, when we've got this colored layer and the white layer, I actually cut my circle out of here so I wouldn't waste any paper because no one's going to see that under there anyway. So I just used my die to cut that out. All right, let's go ahead and glue this on. You can either use glue or I think I'm going to use these dimensionals. Now dimensionals are just an adhesive that has a little thickness to it. So it actually raises up your sentiment or whatever you're attaching just to have it pop out a little bit and make it look extra interesting. I'm going to put that right here. Thanks so much. Now to make this really cute, I think I'm going to put a little bow on the front. Now this is the linen thread from the annual catalog. It just goes with everything. I love the texture of it. I love the color and it ties really easily for me. I'm not good at tying bows. <laughs> 
Now, if you want a catalog, please just head over to my blog and request one. I've got a button on the right hand side for you to request a catalog. So I just snipped the, I just snipped the little tails of that. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And I'm going to press this right on there. Isn't that precious? Oh, it's so cute. Uh oh, one, one is a little bit, one loop was a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to hold that center down and pull until it's where I want it. Isn't that adorable? So you could leave it like this, but I'm going to decorate the inside. And this is where these scraps come into play. I just love this idea. So my card is oriented this way. So I can add this little pink at the bottom. I could add this big piece in here. That's a little too big. I could cut it down, but I'm going to go ahead and just add this little piece. And I'm going to add it just to my white layer and then I'm going to trim it. I'm going to leave a little white showing just like that. Now to trim this, it's easiest just to flip your paper over there. Now I'm going to glue this to our cardstock. Just center it up real nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, I got glue everywhere. Oh, because <laughs> look at the mistake I made. I should have glued my pink side, not my white side. Oh well. Okay. We'll put a little bit more glue. And the way I do this is I just, I want to make sure all four corners get it. And I just drag this around and then I just kind of squiggle all over. I'm going to center this up. So I put thanks so much here. I think I'm going to stamp a hey friend. Right, let's see, what should I do? Oh, how about down here? Now you've got one more scrap of paper. Don't throw this away. You could, you could decorate the envelope. You can save it to go with other projects because you can pick any of these colors out of here. It'll coordinate with other cardstock. Isn't that precious? I just wanted to show you how the dimensionals pop up that message. I had so much fun making that card with you today. Thank you so much for watching.